this thing. You don't mind sit right here because that computer blocks you. You want a Coke or Diet Coke? Or I'm good. I don't I have water. water. I apologize. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Um, I want to start by saying you're not being accused of anything. The uniquely, I, something's come to my attention. I pieced it together. I've asked your mom, because I'm not accusing you, and I want to use that language, okay? I'm just fact-finding, and there's enough that circumstantial evidence, if you look at it, and I hope I'm wrong, but if you look at it, it kind of seems like, the, if, like we were saying, because I wouldn't, well, I hadn't showed you the other one that brought him in here. And this is hard for me, because um, I, you know, I like you a lot. So I want to start in a general way to see if there is something there. We just get right to it, maybe with some truth. Is there anything you want to share about my office area, whether with you or someone? Let me put it this way. In the last week, have you been in my office? I have not. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I don't even think I've been in the front office in the last week either. When we end, I'll probably have you write this down. Truthfully, I may even, I don't want to act like there's any sort of favoritism, like me saying I like you even, you know what I'm saying, I like my students. Um, I may use Clyde, the SRO. Coach Brown. They Coach have their forms they write on because it's an investigation. He just happens to be where he couldn't come in right now because of something that I don't need to go into right now that he's finishing up. And I feel like you have to look at his track record too. He he's not gotten in trouble there, ever. ever we on have a, we have a lot of good students that do things. I have, I have to focus on the here and now and the facts. I mean, I'm not trying to cut you off. No, I understand. Um, it, it just happens. We have a lot that goes to Smyrna West that have done something and they don't have a track record. And it's their first time. I'm not saying and accusing, we're just talking in general. Um, do you know of anyone have you heard of anything, if you're saying you haven't been in here, of stealing something from my office? Now listen. I told you I was gonna treat him the same way I would anyone, and I want you to eyeball me and look at me. If I ask you something, I do not want you to lie to me. Failure to follow my directive as administrator carries its own weight. My directive is, and I'm serious about this, tell me the truth, because in the truth, we can work through this. There's your name, there's family name. If I've got false accusations or false information, I'll be the first to go into attack mode and protect you, okay? But I wouldn't bring you in here if I don't have some level of association with something being stolen out of this office. Can you and, the, and the other thing is, if you don't walk down a path of untruth, is what I'm saying right now. So do you know anybody that has, even, even if you want to call it joking, whatever, I don't care about the verbiage, have they come in here and stolen something? I, I can't think of anything at all. All right, but why... Why would your name be associated? That's one layer. 
Um, I don't know at all, to be honest. It had to be depend on who said it. Um, but I mean, I really do not have any idea. The other thing too is there was a note that was left. And this is exactly what I've shown you. Because to be quite honest, I probably would have done it a different way, but when you sat and looked and saw the similarities that I saw, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of saying what she knows, but I'm letting you in on why I brought you in on this. So, and I don't care if there's some playful tone to it. Stealing and breaking in is breaking in and stealing. Uh, so I'm not getting into playfulness of a note, okay? So we go back, and so I go play off one item of a couple, because it's, it's bizarre, I get it, but my big thing is I'm not getting into whether, oh, it was just uh, this article of clothing or, because I have stuff in here, you know, Sturge Creek stuff, whether it was this book or whatever it is in general, I'm not getting into, well, that's not a big deal. No, it's a huge deal when you come through a locked door into an area and take anything. And that's my focus. Now, in this note, there was one thing, and let's just say I knew that in a roundabout way took me back to you because it's something I knew that you had an interest in. So when I do that, I collect from your dual enrollment writing. I have it looked at, I look at it, I got Vance Rose that look at it, and I'm telling you, when I look at your writing compared to the note, and I've shown your mom, now, I'm not asking you 100%, because I know it's not fair, you're the mom, okay, the parent, but at least can we say it's similar enough why I would bring you in here to even have this awkward and very hard conversation. Right. Now, that's your own mom sitting here saying this. So, how do you explain that I've got this, that the writing is similar to what was written? Did anyone set you up? Did someone write something that has, uh, oh, hey, write this, and then they end up taking it and using this in some fashion? I mean, do you remember anything like that? Because it doesn't make sense. Um, I remember it, but I don't know how anyone would have gotten the dual enrollment papers because Dr. Myers usually takes those. Can I see the note? I got it from, when I let you see this note, it's got to be with Officer Clagg, and that's what he told me. Mm. Now, I'm sure there's reasons for that. School resource officers are run the county sheriff's department. My faculty, that's Stewart's Creek High School. Now, I told him since he couldn't come in at a base level, I was going to start the conversation. I don't know if he was that pleased with it, but I'm the principal here. And I butt heads all the time with them trying to dictate my school. Now, of course, with this, I'm not going to get myself in trouble. I will follow what he's saying in the investigation. But well, I'll tell you what I was hoping. I was hoping that you would come clean and we could, at some level before he walks in, just kind of get to what's going on. Here's the other thing. I feel like if I, if I knew that I hadn't done something, I think I'd be more animated. I don't think I'd be so controlled and calm. I mean, I've, I've done this rodeo a lot. I've done this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, even, I'm not saying I did, and even if I were to want to, I would be horrible at it. And so I think that you definitely have the wrong person. I'm not saying- I'm not good at breaking into things. I did. I would be animated saying, there is no way I did well, this. Well, yeah, there's no way I did even. I don't even, I, yeah, I don't even know where this came from. I haven't even heard it about. You're anything. saying the same nonverbal I'm saying. Is this the norm for someone that hasn't done something? 
you're actually going to have his back and say this. Because you know. Well, I mean, you kind of caught me off guard a little bit. Because, I mean, this is the So, are you nervous or what? Yeah. I mean, I've I mean, just a little bit. This is the second time I've been in your office, and it's not for something good. Ty's not in here. When Ty was in here, I was kind of more relaxed. But Well, I'm, I use all that, though. Yeah. I, I will defend him in that I, I know how I'm raising my child. And so this is not something that I would encourage him to do. And I can look at his body language and see. I see the red on the neck. That's a sign that shows me something. Yeah. Nerves Anger? There. No. Like confusion, maybe? I would say anxiety, too. Anxiety, probably. Well, there's... There should be a level of anxiety. Now, again, I'm choosing my language carefully because I'm not going to have this come back where I have accused you. I am fact finding and I'm saying I'm getting confused. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay, all right. No, no, I'm just, I'm sorry, you caught me dealing with something in in my office. No, it's just a hard situation. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. All right. Am I allowed to know what's stolen, or is that still confidential? Because if I know it's Oh, you're stolen, allowed to know. Oh, what? I'll, I'll show you exactly what it is, if you want to know. You want to see it? I mean, I could probably tell you who did it, or maybe. Okay, you know, okay, right? okay. No, no, no. So, or I wouldn't point so to you're going to tell me who did it now? No, seriously, I've had it. Well, you come in here and you're acting like you don't know anything and you're not guilty, but then you're like, "Oh, I'm not saying I didn't." That's an interesting phrase. <laughs> and the other side of it is, you're going to now give me the name. Who did it? I could narrow it down to a population of people. I, I couldn't tell you exactly who The did. same way a, I narrowed it down to him. That was a poor phrasing of words. Ty's got it back. Oh, I didn't get it back. I didn't get it back. I don't wear one that has a price tag on it. Do you know what's happening right now? I do. What is happening? Uh, I think I asked my mom to ask you where to find that. And? You got it, I think. <laughs> He's a cool customer. <laughs> he is a cool customer. <laughs> oh, man, stand up. <laughs> How long did it take you to plan that? No, we spontaneously did it. Oh. Yeah, we did no planning. <laughs> no planning. We could have been better if we planned. Oh, that's funny. You so, did you actually have you a little bit? Yeah, just a little. I mean, you could tell about his neck. Okay. Like, I think that if so, like I wouldn't have stolen anything. So you could have gone a different route that way. In my yeah. Opinion. See, we didn't have enough time. I didn't know which way to go. You yeah. could have. Yeah, you could have. I don't know. You could have got me with. I don't know. Probably something with band, maybe. Because I wouldn't have, did, yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't done anything, time. but I'm sure that... You know, I almost started... Well, see, not next time I'm going to know. If I, I walk almost, in... And I know. I'm going to start it like the thing... Well, it won't be the next time. Yeah, because right. you know then. But I was thinking, like, I wonder if I should take something and go, listen, do you want to confess to something? <laughs> and give him, like, band. No, it's in band. I right. wonder if I could, But then that would have been dangerous. Right. I had dangerous. one time... Um, uh, very unlike this situation. This is all fun. Um... I can't even give you the example. Just something with a, a, a student that's, that they did that is so obvious that any parent would be like, oh my goodness, 
but it's not like it didn't matter and it was all my fault whatever and you're just listening on the phone you're just like this is just unbelievable you know and you just go through it you know so and and even with her control because i was wavering you know and how could i you know and it was like uh, well you tell him uh, i want you to call me in your office now and you tell him this and like it's just whatever because i guess final control you're gonna get me to do something so i brought the student in and, and i i went i was typing and i went you know why you're in here and i went have you got something you want to tell me that's all i wasn't playing it heavy that's literally all i said and he sat there and, and just opened up about something he had done <laughs> And it was a lot worse than what mom and I didn't oh, talk no. about. So then I called her back and said, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I called your son in like you wanted me to, you know. Well, and then I said, and um, he's got something he's got to tell you. And, and after we'll talk about the discipline. And I handed the phone and then. <laughs> you can hear it through the phone. Oh, yeah. But. But uh, that, so you think no one would confess. No, you'd be surprised. Right. right. The pressure. What? Happens? Yes. Which makes me happy that there's nothing for you to confess. Right. And well, I hey, think that. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for you to tell me what I did wrong and then tell me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. He's way too cool, though. Golly. Well, I would love for Dr. Harold to sign it with the Sharpie. We just didn't know what you wanted under the bill or whatever so yeah I, mean, I, I don't know that's it. is that what you want me to sign it i mean i can go under here you see that yeah, under the bill is fine right here fine. yeah all right the uh now i'll tell you this and this is a compliment for all that you've had to go through this morning <laughs> let me do this though i'm uh it's friday uh we need a we've had a break but i feel like i need another one so hold on there. I'm gonna have like an uneasiness for the rest of the day, probably. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, she's not. I'll be fine. You're not uneasy? You wouldn't even uneasy in here. Yeah. You, you have no worries with them. Yeah. Now you're a cool customer. So the um, I've never. You can thank your mom too, by the way. It's a combo thing. I've never given a student as far as besides well no Clark crew. I ne but but only Clark crew only gets it when they have uh it's the end of the year and it's in May and then they move up it's always a black hat don't even ask me how this stuff happens because mm -hmm. I promise I haven't driven any of it I would never do it because it's so self-serving I've tried to push away from it never could and then I thought well why do I worry about it because great things are done so but it became a thing of almost going when the, we want the red hat. And I said, well, you, you got to earn the red hat. And it just, and then all of a sudden, uh, it started with one group. It was like four years ago, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, Brent Lyles, I think it was the year before that even, but uh, they wanted to make a big deal of getting the red hat. So here's a compliment to you because I'm giving you uh, the red hat. So I hope it has a meaning. I'll tell you no, something about the hat. Not, not nothing to do with me. There's two things. One, I was wearing the red hat long before Trump. I just want to go on record for that. You can, it's documented in pictures. So I, I think that he stole that from me. But uh, mm -hmm. the other thing is, uh, I will say this, this cap, and I've had a lot, is the best wearing cap. It really is. Yeah, I mean, you think that's funny, but if you wear a cap, it just fits good. Mm -hmm. It just does. Yeah. So, man, here's yours. Thanks for being a good sport. Thank you. And listen, man, I appreciate you. I really do. Okay. Thank you. And uh, so, what are you going to do when you graduate? It's a fantastic. Do question. you know? I don't know. Well, I would love to talk about that sometime. You got some good skill sets. You got a lot of leadership ability. Uh, we joke about it, but even being able under pressure to be. I never could have done that in high oh, school. I would have cried. I, I was going for you crying, to be honest. I knew I wouldn't get <laughs> that would for me. And, and then we would have had him. See, yes. if you started crying first. Well, <laughs> no, I'm not too much. <laughs>
<laughs> he has been accepted into Tennessee Tech. Now that's awesome. Mm-hmm. I sent in my scholarship. Mark Brown will be very happy about yeah, that. I, <laughs> I sent in my scholarship stuff for them a couple of days ago, so I'm waiting for that. And I'm going to send in scholarship stuff for band. See yeah. if I can get some good stuff for that. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I'm going to do band for me, though. I've kind of ruled that out. I don't see but it's still fun to do it. Yeah. Well, he'll I'll get to march with Addison. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Exactly. she's a senior. And I'll get paid for it. Hopefully. Yeah, any way, any money you can get is great. Right. The yeah. last time I played, uh, I never, I mean, I don't, I never had your skill sets anyway, but I never would have, I, I don't think I could have majored in music. I, I enjoyed band. I was good in my realm. I had fun. Uh, right. But uh, I wouldn't have majored in it. However, uh, I thought I was over in high school, but I ended up, at MTSU, the, they had like a jazz band and toured around and stuff. And uh, the director came, I don't know how he found out about me. Uh, they probably, to be honest, just needed a trombone player and indirectly found out that's what they did at Riverdale or something. But uh, that actually the last time I played was in uh, freshman at MTSU in the jazz band there. Yeah, so, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Oh, it is. And the just like <clears throat> high school, the belonging experience, it's, it's the same way with, uh, you know, college and when you're there, the more things you can positively be involved in and, and doing, yeah. um, the better. Because I have found positive structure is good, especially when you get more freedom than you've ever gotten. <laughs> Yes. And you know I treat y'all as young adults here. I do. I do. But, I mean, I just think back to even me. It, you you have so much to balance. And then what's deadly is you get these professors and these classes that go, oh, you want to show up fine with me. It's all in that. Because yeah. then you start playing your game because we're so good of like, well, my grade's here now. And I can get by missing that class. And you know, and then right. and then you're trying to balance all the different things, yeah. You know? mm-hmm. And and sometimes the the academics can suffer. A lot have a drop off freshman year. Mm-hmm. Um, best students, and so uh, if you get in attack mode and take care of freshman year, you'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that yeah. freshman year is the usually the roughest. Not because it's the hardest, just because it's no, a, it's not. It's because switch. it's yeah. so much stuff you're doing and you want to do and be involved with that. It's real easy to let the, yeah. We have had that easy. talk. Yeah. I don't think we, I'll have a problem with that because usually if there's an event that I can't go to, yeah, I'm not too hurt by it. Yeah. You know, I want to be there and everything, but it's not like it's the end of the world. Yeah. So, I mean, there's always going to be more stuff. So what, uh, what great learning have I kept you from today? <laughs> what do you have for us, period? Math. Oh, goodness. <laughs> with, with Ty and... Brandon. Okay, all right. So we can go back there and be like, what'd you do? Man? And so, but we we had homework two nights ago. And we went over it in class yesterday, and we were yeah. going over it again. But I already did it, so it's fine. Yeah. And it's, right. uh, it's trigonometry, yeah. which I think I'm good at. His strength is math. Wow. That's good. I don't know where he gets it from. I'll but. say this. In, uh, the geometry, for some reason was my mind was very open to that and it was very easy mm-hmm. uh, and I could gut it out to get grades you aren't going to find any any teacher or educator knows how to do school that's just the bottom line they know how to do school um, now knowing how to do school and learning is two different things we should really be focused about learning you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying but um that came easy, and I almost think you hear that a lot. Like the the more algebra that side compared to geometry, like it's either one's easy here or here. It seems like everybody I talk to, the mm-hmm. mom was geometry. Uh, had an interesting teacher, but uh, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, listen. Thank you very oh, much. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks for the fun. Wait, what's your phone doing there?